Frosty for some uh, to start off your Friday, but we're going to warm up really nicely today, warmer than where we were yesterday, and we'll just keep on warming more and more each and every day through the upcoming holiday weekend. So dry and quiet. Take a check of where temperatures landed yesterday. Most of us in the mid to upper 60s, only one making it in the 70s there uh, at Muskegon was 71 degrees. Now this morning, we are a little bit cooler than yesterday morning. We have less cloud cover and lighter winds, allowing these temperatures to drop back even big rapids at 34 degrees as a, after this chilly start. I think we're really going to be done with any frost potential for the rest of the season. So very similar to yesterday morning. Frost advisory here in the blue, freeze warning in the purple, everything from I-94 and on northward continuing until 8 a.m. this morning. There's those light winds, which will remain lighter throughout the afternoon and evening hours as again, we'll tap into all that sunshine all day long. Here's our featured pup of the day. No problem getting outside, a little bit warmer, pushing temperatures in the lower 70s, very seasonal for this time of year, 73 degrees. It's exactly where we should be at this point in May. Now we've been very dry. So how much longer till we can see some rain? I know not everyone wants rain, but uh, a lot of people still do. It's going to take until next Wednesday or Thursday, even just to get minimum chances of rain in our forecast. We'll break it down how hot we'll get, though, coming up. All right, West Michigan, I think it's our last chilly morning of the season as we're really going to warm up more today and uh, definitely heading throughout the holiday weekend and in and throughout next week. Yesterday, we landed temperatures in the upper 60s mostly, 71 degrees in Muskegon. We'll all push into the 70s today, but we are a little bit cooler of a start this morning when compared to yesterday as we're in the lower to upper 30s and lower 40s. We have a little bit less cloud cover and lighter winds, which is allowing those temperatures to drop back even more. So another frosty potential this morning. That frost advisory there in the blue, freeze warning in the purple, anywhere from I-94 and on northward. And this likely, it should be the last of these for the season. Look at those light winds, though. That will remain consistent throughout the day. As we enjoy all that sunshine, we're going to warm up quick in this really dry air mass that we've been having and will continue to have at least for the next several days. So this Friday, bus stop planner, our last couple weeks, if not week of school, we're heading into as we're going to push towards about 72, 73 degrees before the day is done. Very seasonal, right on par for where we should be this time of year with our temperatures before we really uh, get those temperatures off to the races through the weekend and next week, pushing towards 90 degrees by next week. We're going to enjoy that sunshine until 9.09, though, so maybe you want to do so along the lakeshore. Lake water temperatures in the lower 50s. Waves uh, less than a foot around 1 to 2 for the afternoon. If you're heading out for the entire weekend, your Memorial Day weekend, a Sunday looks to be the roughest day out on Lake Michigan, otherwise Saturday and Monday. Not bad at all. So the big lakes pretty much behaving for the entire holiday weekend here. Overnight tonight, mostly clear temperatures dipping back into the mid-40s. Not as cool as what we've had this morning or yesterday. As again, we'll see those improvements and continue to warm up through the weekend. Now, as we go throughout Saturday, Sunday, even your Memorial Day on Monday, you may notice some thin high clouds giving us more of a, a filtered sunshine look. Still plenty of sunshine to enjoy, but at times it might not be that crystal clear blue sky. I don't think anyone will mind, though, because it's still going to be absolutely gorgeous. Today, 73 degrees. Maybe you're heading to the Whitecaps game tonight. They have another game tonight. First pitch at 635. I would still bring a lighter jacket because depending on how late you stay for the game, we're going to dip back into the 60s by the time we get into the 10 o'clock hour, but a beautiful evening uh, to be at the ballpark. Next couple of days, tomorrow, we already warm up into the upper 70s, already pushing above average. 81 degrees on Sunday for your Memorial Day holiday, 85 degrees. If you're heading out to parades early in the morning, you're going to be in the 60s, but warm up quickly already towards 78 degrees by 1 o'clock on Memorial Day. Wednesday and Thursday, 90, 89, near 90 degrees. Definitely the warmth is there, and we have a few chances for a pop-up shower and even a pop-up thunderstorm on Thursday. Is this heat going to last, though? The next 8 to 14 days, Climb Prediction Center has dipped us back into normal. Average temperatures, which is in the lower 70s this time of year, as that takes us into the beginning of well, West Michigan, it's calm and quiet to start off this morning, this Friday morning. We made it to the end of the week, but it is another chilly start, and I think this really is our last one. We're going to warm up more today, continue to warm up through the rest of the holiday weekend, even especially 
into next week. So this morning we are dipping back temps into the lower and upper 30s, lower 40s for some of you. We have a little less cloud cover this morning, lighter winds, really allowing those temperatures to fall back. So we continue to have the frost advisory and freeze warning. Frost advisory in the blue, warning in the purple here until 8 a.m. from anywhere I-94 and on northward. Similar to yesterday, but more of us falling into that category this morning with those temperatures falling back into the 30s. And fingers crossed, I really think it is the last one of these for the season. This is actually pretty late in the season to be having freeze warnings and frost advisories. There's those light winds, which will continue for the rest of the day, as well as all that sunshine and warm up pretty quickly in this dry air mass that we continue to have. So your Friday bus stop planner, not many too, uh, too many bus stop planners left for the season. Probably the next week or so we'll be done with these. But 72, 73 degrees is uh, what we land on by the day's end. Very seasonal, right on par where we should be with our temperatures at this point in May. Enjoying that sun until it sets at 9.09. So maybe you're starting the holiday weekend early, playing hooky today and heading to the lake shore. Lake water temperatures in the lower 50s. Waves, for the most part, on the calm side, one to two feet this afternoon. They pick up a bit. And the big lake's really behaving for much of the holiday weekend. We only have one to two foot waves on Sunday, both Monday and Saturday, around a foot or even less. So really, really nice conditions out on the big lake pretty much all throughout the holiday weekend. Overnight tonight, mostly clear. 45 degrees is what we will drop back to. Not as cool as what we have this morning. And then we're really going to be off to the races with our temperatures through the weekend and throughout next week. Plenty of sunshine, but you might notice some high, thin clouds, almost giving us a filtered sunshine look, as I really don't think it'll take away from anyone's weekend. But at times, we may not have that crystal clear blue sky. Let's take a look at that super seven-day planner, though. Today, 73 degrees. Maybe you're starting off the weekend at the Whitecaps game. Another 635 first pitch here. Might want to bring a jacket. Temperatures will cool off quickly into the 60s already as you start to head towards the end of the game. But a beautiful, beautiful evening to be at the Whitecaps. So we hit 78 tomorrow. Already above average. 81 on Sunday. We're in the 80s and we stay there for quite a while. 85 degrees on Monday for your Memorial Day. If you're heading out to any parades or any early morning, early afternoon activities, we'll be in the 60s early to start for the morning. But we're going to warm up quick. Already by 78 degrees at 1 o'clock as clearly we'll push into the 80s rather quickly throughout the holiday. Look at where we're headed to. 89 degrees on Wednesday, 90 on Thursday. Finally getting some rain chances in there, just a pop-up shower or thunderstorm. We'll take a closer look at these when we get closer to Wednesday and Thursday, but we really need the rain. We'll likely end up being the second driest May ever on record by the end of the month. But will the warmth last? The next 8 to 14 days, Climate Prediction Center puts us in normal average temperatures as we head throughout the first week of June, which is... Morning news. Hey, good morning, everybody. Almost 5.30 here on your Friday, your Memorial Weekend mm -hmm. Friday. Hopefully a lot of you guys are watching this and then you're out the door to wherever yeah. it's nice yeah. and yeah. beautiful. Yeah, you're going up north. Yes, I'll be there tomorrow. So, yeah, in about, actually, exactly 24 hours, I'm going to be leaving, uh, trying to get to the base for marathon in time the for race. Start. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, Any goals you have set for the race? Well, I'm not so I'm just kind of pacing a friend okay, of mine. Okay. So I'm there to like Support. get him through that wall of the marathon. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, any runner knows exactly oh what you're talking so about. Hopefully yeah. I'll be there to support him and not bring him back. But you know, <laughs> no, you'll do good. You'll do good. A good weekend for, yeah, for being outdoors. Perfect. Oh, I know. I have all the chores, all the activities yep. today. I'm racing to Countryside Greenhouse. So if you <laughs> yes. see me, say hi. I'm gonna get all the flowers yeah. and hopefully don't kill them this year. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I'm We're here for you. I don't have a green thumb. Yeah, I don't have a green thumb. But hey. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at those weather headlines because it really is going to be just an outstanding uh, forecast for your holiday weekend. We are off to a chilly, frosty start this morning, but we're going to warm up nicely for the day and really just continue to warm up leading throughout the weekend and next week. We're talking, ooh, there we are. We're talking the 70s and sunshine today, warmer temperatures throughout the weekend and the even hot temperatures next week. We're talking near 90 degrees next week. But we need the rain. We've been dry for quite a while. Uh, we'll get it and show you when we do in our full seven day in a little bit. This morning, though, there's those cooler temps. Cooler than yesterday by a few degrees. We have a little less cloud cover, a little lighter winds, allowing these temps to drop back for more of us into the 30s. This then, of course, leads us to that frost advisory and freeze warning. The advisory in the blue warning in the purple there. This is from I-94 on northward. 
Fingers crossed it's their last one. Late in the season to have one of those, I really think uh, we should be done and gone with them. Light winds, plenty of sunshine all day long as our featured... We'll look around town this morning, US 131 and I-96. I think our morning commute will overall be a little bit lighter today as I maybe you're sleeping in and heading out later like Kevin was talking to uh, head all around town no matter where you're going for the holiday weekend. Everything dry, quiet, really running at posted speeds this morning no matter where you are across West Michigan as travel times between Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Lansing, all uh, you know, pretty usual at this point in the morning. Let's talk some construction though this week Grand Rapids Plainfield Avenue it's closed south of three mile to Chestire Avenue it's a two-phase project phase one the northbound lanes are closed the southbound has only one lane open the second phase that starts in July when the southbound will be closed and the northbound will have one lane open finish date uh, for this phase is June 30th. And just north of Leonard Street, only for a few more days, one block north of Leonard Street, there is water main work. Your detour here is to use Lafayette. This is through next Wednesday, May 31st. For now, I'm Candace Monticelli, Fox 17 Traffic. She just brought in those ICs. Oh, they were really good. They were really good. They took me back to my childhood, but I felt bad because she was holding them outside. It's still a little cold out there. Oh, yeah. 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 coat on, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, but uh, kind of a good summer treat there. Just one of the many different food trucks. But if you out. go tonight, is it? it's going to warm up, right? Well, it'll be in the lower 70s. Okay, yeah. good. So kind of that perfect I mean, evening. Good. Yeah, you absolutely. Certainly yeah. could eat ice in the lower 70s, yeah. right? Or drink you a beer. Eat <laughs> ice in the lower 30s if you want. It's true, Kevin. It's true. Yeah, I like the frosty mugs if you got a beer. I actually have mugs that I put in the freezer. Oh, so nice. you can Keep pull it cold. Out. Keeps it cold and that because you don't want to water the beer down. <laughs> or your favorite Ooh, beverage. No. Right. Beverage so, of choice. Yeah. There's nothing worse than warm mm. beer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ben, sounds like college. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> all righty. Let's talk forecast. Yeah, let's not go backwards, Kevin. We're almost to the weekend. we got to stay at 734 here. Uh, traffic starting to run into some instances out on the roadways. First, this is M6. Uh, we have a crash there. One lane really starting to get some slowdowns. Another instance on uh, I-96, the entrance ramp from Alpine uh, is blocked with the crash there as well. So just a few minor things, no reports of any injuries and otherwise. Running smooth sailing for this morning. Now your travel times, still everyone in the green, and we have some construction going on, but it's very limited today. As in Kent County, US 131, M6, are gonna have shoulder closures in both directions, eastbound and westbound lanes from Kalamazoo to Byron Center, 54th to 76, 8 a.m. to 3, the last day is today. And remember, at 3 p.m., MDOT will pause a lot of construction projects throughout the holiday weekend. For now, I'm Candace Monticelli, Fox 17 Traffic. Hey, welcome, and thanks for mixing up your morning with us. I'm Todd Chance. And I'm Michelle Dunaway. It is Friday. Woo, Man, man nobody's excited around here. It's May 26th. <laughs> if you need to note the date, we are on the cusp of a long three-day weekend. Just Candace been... is back in with us today. Yes. Man, we're just loving that fish that fish video. Oh, my oh, gosh. That was hilarious. I know. That was on your face. I got so many calls from family and friends <laughs> that, that, like, everyone was like, I was not surprised by your reaction at all. <laughs> my brother, like, actually fishes, and he called me out. He goes, you're ridiculous. Yeah. Just grab the fish. Yeah, grab the fish. <laughs> well, you know, in, your, in your defense, you don't hold the fish like that. You well, need to hold salmon it. salmon have teeth, so that's in why you didn't want to give it to me like that. Right. Because Okay. He was afraid I was going to like, you know, I didn't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, At least I didn't kiss it. Davis are, wanted me to kiss well, see, the fish. I make my daughters kiss, kiss theirs. Yeah. No, oh, yes, you have to kiss it. I no, it's slimy and gross. No. When I go fishing with my daughters, they have to kiss every fish before they put it back. Yes. Yep. That's how it works. Well, yeah. I didn't put it back. I ate it last night. Oh, good for you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, it was yeah. real good. It was real good. Since we're talking about yeah, after it's cooked, yeah, you kissed it then, right? Yeah. Uh, since we're talking about it. stuff on the water, our story of the day has to do with that uh, a marine researcher. You know, they're banking on the saying that one man's treasure or woman's trash is another man's treasure type of thing, because they've collected some weird. I love it. I want to go. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to the sister city. Yeah. I, 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 I just love any place that serves like different types of food from like different oh, it's lands. Oh, so fun. Yeah. yeah.
So fun. It's like almost like a different little lands. culinary vacation. Yeah, different lands. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> we're going across different, the land. Different lands, <laughs> far away lands. Epcot. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's just, it, it kind but of But you have to start in Mexico. You can't start in Canada. It is a big debate. you got to go, go Mexico, Which way you go? Counterclockwise Canada. Canada. Yeah. 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 We Mexico. always miss Canada. <laughs> yeah, we always just start in England. Poutine. Oh, got to go Mexico. The tequila bar inside the thing. Oh, you got to plan Take the boat ride. Yes, Oh, thank you. Kidding me? Yeah, we're. I'm a Disney fanatic. I've been there way too many times. And then yeah. you go on the frozen ride. Mm, it's, it's not that good though, the frozen ride. It's cute. It's okay. Is it worth the wait? No. Hey, let it go. Probably not. Let, well, it go. let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. And <laughs>